Okay, briefly, just a, a brief video uh, about balancing your centrifuge tubes. Um, we can't state uh, uh, enough the importance of balancing, counterbalancing your sample tubes when you're running the centrifuge. And a simple way of doing that um, is with a trip balance. And here we have a two pan dual beam uh, balance and in the balance position it's going to have the um, marker there on um, that line. Um, we can have two ways we can do it. The first example here I'm going to have the, um, the, the sample tubes are to be spun in their carrier that's going to be placed in the centrifuge, and those I have included the cap there because that's going to go into the centrifuge. And so, um, all I'm going to do is add water as it balances. So, I'm just going to add this water carefully. until those tubes are balanced. So that would balance these tubes in the carrier. Now what if you need to balance your tubes and you don't have the carrier or the carrier is cumbersome or whatnot, you can balance them with out a carrier when you're using a dual beam balance so that you can actually adjust the balance. So I have these just kind of random tube holders that we see they're not balanced. So the heavier one is over here on the pan that I can adjust. So I'm going to put, actually put the uh, lighter one there. Okay. And so what I'm going to have to do is to balance them against each other here. Okay, so there you go. There's just two ways to use this dual pan balance to balance the tubes against each other with your, with your um, spinning. You can either do it in the carrier and tube and all that's going in the centrifuge, or you can balance the tubes um, um, that are going in the carrier.